Hello everyone, this is Verde, and today we're playing a little bit more Roll of X. Who could have told? Anyway, uh, we... I'm still playing on the... on the beta client, mostly because I've been working on stuff for the next update. Uh, mostly... What do I have done right now? I have... I have inserted the time controls, which is nice. And let's change these guys a bit, right? I want missiles. I want to break. No, I want. I will keep the behemoth because the behemoth is just a must have, right? <laughs> I really gotta buff the other towers to match up the behemoth. But anyway, uh. <laughs> I've been one thing that um, that my videos specifically made me insert into the update list into the list of things I have to make for the update is having a random button, not button, but uh, my current idea is to make a random equipment, something like you put it here and you can equip up to three of these. You can equip it over and over again. And the idea is that once um, once a run starts, it is replaced by a random uh, equipment. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Uh, if you have any other suggestions on, on how to properly random the things. But anyway, I want... Really, this does not unlock any extra powers. Um... Uh... Yeah, I suppose, I suppose I have to value drift or even find a mission with over 120 difficulty in order to unlock the flamethrower. Which is sad, this flamethrower is strong and there, there is also more, more towers to unlock, so... Perhaps I'll lower this difficulty thing. Let me just write that down. Uh, lower new tower difficulty threshold because uh, the flamethrower, from what I'm seeing here, is 120 already, right? And another to unlock the minefield, it is 140. And the Tesla, which is the next one, is only unlocked at 160? I mean, you would have to start at a level 128 mission and... Let's, let's click something just to start going. Uh, you would have to start a level 128 mission and then to value drift a few times to get to... 160. Let me see. Seven times. Yeah, I think that's excessive. Certainly. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get to it. I got a colonize mission, which is something. And I'll put some missiles here and there. Uh, oh yeah, this is a new feature. I won't enable it right now because uh, I think I need the reaction time currently. Oh, growth is good here. But... Yeah, one thing someone mentioned is... Oh, I, did, I haven't got the right powers to do so. So I guess I'll do it next time. This is quite early and clone factory is very good. Okay, probably not the best one to clone, but still. This is a problem. Let me place some behemoths here and there. This behemoth can protect this one, this behemoth can protect the other one, I suppose. I don't want to fully encapsulate the colonies, most, uh, most be mostly because I still need them to grow. Um, I 
I'm starting to figure out this whole YouTube thing, which is nice. Oh, I love homing saw blades. Let's go for that. Yeah, I haven't played with saw blades for a little while. And homey saw blades is very nice. Uh, but anyway, I'm being a little forgetful these days. Sorry if I just start a topic and then just forget it about it. <laughs> My mind haven't been as sharp as it used to. And now as I talk like that, I seem like I have, I don't know, 70 years, I suppose. But I don't know. I haven't been sleeping well. I suppose that's the that's the reason, right? But uh, but I've been mo moving forward, I suppose. Anyway, uh. We got a... Uh, I think I will value drift here because I love playing with saw blade related things. Oh, this is very strong for saw blades. Because it, inc it increases the saw blade damage, but also it increases the... Let me start using this. Basically, you can speed up the game quite a while. <laughs> you can speed the game quite a lot, to be honest. Like, probably more than you should. I still haven't figured out how much is a good thing in order to speed up. And I still haven't implemented the, the thing turning off automatically. Which is actually a problem because you can just lose the game suddenly. <laughs> if you are not being attention and the game is at... Eight times the speed. Currently, it is only at uh, twice, uh, twice the speed. But I suppose it can. Oh, someone helps me, doesn't it? But I suppose. Oh, oh, growth factory is nice. One thing that I that I've been wanting to do for a long time is to rework growth a bit. What do I want to rework and go? He he work in growth is just to make it so that when you forgot I forgot it's just to make it so that the cooldowns yeah the cooldown uh, it works a little bit nicer with higher numbers of growth because currently once you get to a certain number of growth having one extra oh and I like this but bullet buffer is also nice anyway uh once I get to a certain amount of growth, you need several stacks of it in order to reduce one tick in the in the time between... Oh, the stall blades are very strong. If you can tell, I really like stall blades, okay? Oh, a data center? Where is it? Two of them. Hey, gimme. Anyway, stall blades are one of my favorite. If not my favorite towers. I used to like the Quaker a lot, but Saw Blades now have a special place in my heart. Oh look, Tesla. It isn't as strong as it once was because it once was broken. <laughs> Let me try to get to that. I'll try to use that strategy of not claiming it until I can find a uh, value drift. Hmm, that way I, because I already found the, look, one saw blade just cleans it up nicely. And at that high attack speed makes it so that, makes it, makes the saw blade simply build so many hits to every enemy. Oh, there it is. Uh, okay. 
You are damaging my base, but I got this. Yeah, let me get the... Uh... Growth is not that useful. Let me get the tax speed. Let me get Frenzy. Let's see if this works. Okay. I got it. The... Where did the Lurker die? Oh, there it is. Why isn't this thing working? I don't know. Okay, let's value drift. Oh, it found another data center <laughs> after I killed the Lurker. That's fine. I got two data centers, which is already nice. And now, production line. Yeah, no. <laughs> let's get... Mm. Well, now for my next trick, I will create a merger tower. Oh god, I do have a lot of attack speed. How much attack speed do I have? Was I supposed to have this much attack speed for me? <laughs> oh god. Let's create a... Whoa! These never fail to impress me. Oh god. Oh no, I don't have that much attack speed. The game is sped up. <laughs> That's what's happening. I forgot about it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I suppose both of these are very good, but this straight up doubles my damage, right? Look at that. This guy is very nice when the game is sped up. <laughs> Let's get more damage. And this is strong. But this is also very strong. Like, hello. Let's speed the game even further. I don't know. We could. Okay, Alexa, just talk to me. <laughs> Never mind. We could, but I don't think we should, right? Because... <clears throat> uh, Dragon Trades, yes. And... Actually, I'll get Supply Drop. Um, yeah, sure. Weird. Yeah, sometimes the map is not revealing as soon as it should. Oh god, I did increase the game speed past the... <laughs> The tool thing. It was a four times game speed. That is something. Okay, several buildings destroyed. Uh, one thing that I will change is to make this thing percentile base. Basically, it will. It should only trigger the warning once a certain number of buildings, like that number of buildings, is destroyed. Yeah, that's a good number of buildings to trigger the warning on. Oh God! <laughs> well, guess that's a reason to play to not play at twice as a speed, right? <laughs> oh, my base just got wrecked. Anyway, uh, the suggestion someone made was to have this guy. I'll keep the soul blades. And this guy. And then pick. I will go with neutralize, perhaps depend. Yeah, neutralize. I like more AoE. Anyway, uh, 
the suggestion was to pick this back for this guy and then to go out with a bang with the the, the other spec i guess there's no need for this right unless i could get triple specs somehow which i don't think i could which i don't think i can Anyway, I'll keep playing the game at one times speed here, because <laughs> I'm scared for my life right now. And I still haven't implemented the thing that makes this guy, this thing stop when, when you're taking too much damage. I think it is kind of necessary so you can react, you know? Otherwise, you just die and you have no reaction. Then you are sad. These kinds of things. Gotta increase the range of this guy. And the damage. It has fixed attack speed, but its damage increased with... Well, I do have behemoths, let's use them. Another thing that is very good about behemoth that people don't usually appreciate is the fact that it hits the back line, uh, regardless of what there is in the front line. So, uh, if I suppose there is some ranged enemies, and along with ranged enemies, there are some melee enemies. You basically are able to fire at the at the hang, ranged the enemies, which is something that I really value. Being able to properly damage the backline. Okay, let's get some more machine learning. Machine learning is another upgrade that's getting reworked, but I don't remember if I already told it, that to you guys. <laughs> I actually want this thing. Yeah. I want high attack speed. But I'll turn that into damage. You see, every time I pick one of these, nothing happens, because I have the thing. Which changes base attack speed to that. But. It increases damage based on your attack speed. And it is multiplicative with strong, with stuff. Yeah, let's go. The I suppose the boss layer is over there somewhere. Frostbite is on this situation. Frostbite is very strong, I suppose. But that makes me need some more cold. Let's pick these ones with auto upgrade. Not necessarily. Uh, let's go. Let's make the game quicker. We didn't. We learned nothing. <laughs> we are not capable of learning. All right. Let's see. I suppose I can make the possibility Look at that damage. Uh, yeah, let's build a little bit faster, a, have a little bit more HP, have a little bit more DPS and slow the enemies. I'm still very low level, but... Yeah, I gotta increase the range of these guys, otherwise I straight up can't use them. 
Oh, but they deal a lot of damage. Because their damage is normally uh, multiplied by attack speed, right? Uh, in this case, it is multiplied by attack speed twice. <laughs> so, it is a lot of damage. It is a lot of damage. Look at that. I didn't think about that. <laughs> really. Oh, I'll extend the mission. Let's go. I want to value drift. Is this it? No. Yeah, uh, I think that some of the player base have been making some kind of breaking the game competition to see who can make break the game further. And uh, I encourage that, <laughs> honestly. Uh, I have seen some players on the level 3000 things. I've seen some players with runs of over 8 hours. No, I will not showcase. Uh, no, I will not make a video of me, of me playing an eight-hour run, run. Okay. No. So, there's that. Okay, that was. I will extend the mission. I want to kill the king lurker. And let's go. Valley of drift. Oh, I guess the value drift animation is also sped up. <laughs> nice. I didn't think that would be the case, but it seems it is. Anyway, uh, there is a... Oh, sadly, a, a, there is a tower that I like. Which is... No. Which is this one. Basically, every enemy it hits, it creates the... Excuse me. Uh... Oh god. I don't want to lose that tower. Yeah, it attacks once in forever, I suppose. But <laughs> every enemy it hits, it creates a small earthquake for them. Which is nice. My main problem with this is that since we can't increase the attack speed, we have to hold it until it until it is able to fire, I suppose. And there is honestly tougher than I expected. Let me place some other... Perhaps we are losing here. But honestly, this one should not already be enough to kill most of enemies. Funnily enough. Mostly because I have three stacks of frostbite. So enemies will die as soon as they touch my buildings. However, my buildings are also dying as soon as they touch my building. Yeah, I gotta get out of there. Don't think that one, or at least it got to fire once before dying. Let's escape that situation. And that is with low danger as well. I think I will not survive here, guys. This one... This is a very weird thing. Bats, I'm alright with bats, because they can't do that much damage. My main problem are sulfur balls. Honestly, I'll get Cone Factory. Okay, tons of money. If only I can last for a little bit longer. I don't think I will. <laughs> now that I'm now that you mentioned. Okay, let's pause. Let's put this back at once a speed so that I can properly react. Now the game feels slow, but that's fine, right? This is actually is good. But this everything here is good. <laughs> 
Uh, why am I picking that? Why did I pick that? Yeah, I lost. <laughs> but that was fun. Okay. Let's try another one. I suppose I will go with the furthest difficulty I can I can find. I have to defend for 25 minutes. Do I have any chance? Not with these, right? <laughs> But I suppose I'll try. I really wanted to make that thing work, but... Uh, doing that with lowered attack speed was not a very bright idea, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, oh... Uh, Okay, I have to protect you as well. Uh, one thing that I noticed... Oh, oh there's that. I still haven't fixed that thing, did I? That interaction between this and... No, but I won't abuse that. <laughs> that sounds fun, but... Let's go with a... Uh... Normal out of bank build, right? Oh yeah, this attack. This attack is very nice. This is very good for out of bank too. But I need growth in order to for this to be viable. Otherwise, I will be just sacrificing money. That's not good. This damage is very nice. I think it is bigger than a behemoth. Let me spawn a behemoth and figure that out. Bro, finally! Behemoth 2k. This 1k. Really? This does less damage than behemoth? Behemoth is too strong. Honestly. <laughs> uh, I might. This is a very weird formation, but... Talking about a weird start. Uh, I think I want more experience. This is a very slow thing. Let's speed it up. Yeah, I won't regret it. Never. There's no way I can regret the speeding up the game, right? Pick this thing so I can just run around finding lurkers. But no, let's just defend for the whole 25 minutes. Which isn't quite 25 minutes because the game is sped up. But you, you know what I mean, right? Oh god. Okay, a uh, production line is nice. Low is also nice. But honestly, I need damage. <laughs> and also, I really like the fact that that thing just poofs, uh, <laughs> pops up, and then every building in the in the vis every enemy in the vicinity just is thrown away by this structure detonating. Yeah, that is very nice. None of this really helps my out of a bank build but I mean this really helps additional ballet buffer nah nuke nuke is good don't get me wrong but I'm not going for it so let reroll yeah I suppose 
I really need some more buildings around these. And honestly, given that this is a sulfur biome, I should probably do something like this so the, my enemies die a little bit further away from the thing I have to protect. Right. More experience, yes, give it to me. More HP as well. Attack speed will be useful later because my idea is to have this guy. Uh, the spec for this guy. Oh, you hear that? I just got a ton of growth. <laughs> And the danger is going down, finally. Actually, it wasn't that bad, to be honest. Yeah, let's get a tax speed. Line A. Oh, I don't think so. But hey, what can you do? We don't have that much barrier upgrades. That's why I'm not that keen up on chain lining. And it also doesn't affect Soul Blade that, that well. It triggers when the projectile is destroyed, which for the Soul Blade, hopefully, is when everything is dead, right? Game is ramping up. I guess I need some more protections. I'll actually build here. Most worried about that, those guys. The main counterplay today is several buildings destroyed. I guess that's part of the strategy, right? But the main counter to them is to have your base make your base big. If you make your base small, they may just destroy it. And there is not your strategy to allow your base to be destroyed, right? So, I will make this these tendrils. Yeah, that way my base is a little bit safer. Yeah, I suppose let's go for this. I'm level 53. I suppose I get the second spec at level 80? I don't quite remember, to be honest. Several buildings destroyed. Massive structural failure detected. No bueno. What is this? Hey, the tooltip on this guy, that guy was a, is a little bit, little bit strange. I'll have to figure that out on out later but see the tendril strategy is paying dividends it's really helping me right now to deal with those guys but I still don't have I have tons of growth right now But a low game? Isn't it too dangerous? At least I'm getting a lot of levels. And whoa, 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 whoa! You get out of here! <laughs> you just go towards the other way. <laughs> okay, that. <laughs> Bro, wait, I can't believe that worked. Okay. If that guy exploded near my base, my base would be in shambles right now. <laughs> but I managed to lure it, I suppose. 
with a very silly idea. Oh yeah, and the enemies have an AI, their AI to spread the damage. That's that's why they are able to kill that many buildings. If their AI was something like the it was several Wait a second, why aren't you taking damage? As you should. Excuse me? Okay, next level I'll be able to get the thing I've been wanting. Oh, a data center. That's nice. One level, just one level. I didn't get it, did I? <laughs> okay, let's wait 10 more levels. Let's go. I'm a little bit scared for these guys. They seem to get invulnerable when they feel that stuff. At even higher caliber. Even deeper analysis. Even, I don't know. Oh god, I'm... I'm about to lose this guy, ain't I? Oh no, I'm not. I lucked out with this and P-boxes, didn't I? More analysis. Let's analyze. I have eight stacks of analysis. Let's go. This is very weird. There it is. Look at the damage. It just rose. Yeah, let's get frostbite. Because frostbite is surprisingly good in this situation. Yeah, give me damage. I'm interested in damage. And now in attack speed. Honestly, let's get some shields. But it's not that strong. I have way too much money. I just realized. Look at the size of those explosions. I suppose my damage didn't increase that fast. Mostly because my attack speed multiplier was negative. Was <laughs> because someone did get like a lot of these. Go the hill. That's a lot of damage. I still didn't fix that. I should. I should have at this moment. I don't think I will win, but I'm having fun. Oh god, I only have one of these left. What happened? I don't know, let's unslow the game so we can figure out what should we do. We still have to... I believe these guys are protecting the other ones. Somehow. Honestly. You know what? I'll pause the game. And I'll build a lot. I will waste all of my money on structures. Because they are literally damaged for me, right?
yeah, literally damage. I don't even know if all of these will get built, but I can try. I really... Wait, I can still throw a Pandora box. Yeah. That could help. Yeah, that did help. Now I need structures for this side. P box. Yeah, let's increase my P box stuff. I saw a print yesterday uh, about someone with 99 stacks of Pandora's box. And it was was just was just beautiful. How many everything how much that destroyed the game <laughs> but it is on our discord if you want to take a look at that the print is in mine so I want to show that in the video but it was just beautiful and I have a very big problem here, because the one that did survive is the one that is closest to the lava. If I have a very big horde of enemies grows from the lava, I'm probably dead, right? <laughs> because if this thing is destroyed, I lose. That's the... Oh god. What's happening there? I don't know, but it is happening slowly. Games is starting to lag, and I don't know why. I'm a little bit concerned right now. There is no way I can win here. There is no way that I can win. They rock too hard because they are not a mortal man. No way. Too many spears. Yeah, they just eat my structures as soon as. And then a horde of lurkers over there. Let's hope for Pandora's box. Honestly, this is a fun build. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> Perhaps I should grind a few more upgrades before trying this thing out again, right? Because, yeah, that thing is already a half health, and if I know anything about Roll of Ice, it, one, uh, once your building is at 1% uh, health, or 5% health, I don't know how many percent health is there. It is not. <laughs> anyway. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was just a fail streak, but those are fun as well. Uh, if you like it, don't forget to subscribe. That thing helps, I suppose. I know nothing about YouTube, to be honest. But anyway, I hope I see you guys next time.